hi guys welcome back to my channel today i'm also happy today to be with you in this tutorial as well i hope everyone is fine in today's tutorial is going to be the making of this layered sleeve off shoulder layered sleeve you are seeing on the screen okay so these off shoulder layers you are going you are seeing on the screen i'm going to show you how you can achieve this in this tutorial okay so if you are new to this channel please kindly subscribe turn on your notification bell to receive videos like this every week like share the video to family and friends drop your comments at this comment section as well and your suggestions as well so to begin this tutorial right away you can see i have a plain paper here okay so this fresh pattern paper is going to be used for the off shoulder sleeve as you can see so looking at that sleeve on the screen you can see is a long sleeve although i have a video on how to make a long sleeve okay but then this is an off shoulder long sleeve so i'll be demonstrating to you how you can correctly or accurately calculate your off shoulder sleeve so the first thing i want to do is to fold my paper you can see the paper is plain but then i'm going to check my the length of my sleeve okay so the length of this sleeve i'm going to make use of 20 inches for it okay all right so i'll be keeping all right so this paper i have in here is about 20 inches or there about okay so i'll be using this part of it so you can see what i'm doing right now i'm folding my paper into so like i said the sleeve you are seeing on the screen on the picture there is an off shoulder layer sleeve so for us to achieve this off, off shoulder layer sleeve, all we need to do is to draft our off shoulder sleeve, okay? Our off shoulder sleeve is going to serve as a base to carry the layers. So to achieve that off shoulder sleeve you are seeing in there, I have my paper folded right now, okay? This paper, you can see how I folded it. It was not folded before but you need to fold it because i'm drafting on one sleeve and on that one sleeve this is the front part of it and this will serve as the back part of it so you need to fold your paper this way so having done that the next thing i'm going to do is to mark out my vertical lines for the off shoulder so how do i mark out my vertical lines i'll first of all create my border lines that will serve as my sleeve head so I'm going to rule up my line and I'll be calling that line my sleeve head. So all measurements are taken right from the sleeve head right away, okay? So this is my sleeve head. So the next thing I'm going to do is to draw other vertical lines, okay? So another vertical line I'm drawing now is the cap height measurement. So this cap height measurement is simply gotten by using your round armhole i have a round armhole sorry a round bust my round bust circumference is 40 inches i'll be dividing this 40 inches by 12 and the result is 3.3 then i'll be adding plus one inch of ease to it so at the end of the day i have 4.3 inches which is approximately four inches so you can see so whatever your your bust is you put it here divide by 12 12 is constant the result you add one inch to it whatever thing you get okay like 0.3 is not really anything that's why i approximated to four inches not up to five to approximate i believe you understand that so right now on my cap height i have four inches can you see that remember i'm drawing the vertical lines for this off shoulder first so once I draw my four inches line, this will serve as my, this is my cap height. So the next vertical line I'm going to take right from the sleeve head is my bicep height. So I'm taking my tape on my shoulder to the arm. The largest part of my arm falls at 7.5 inches. So I'll be taking my 7.5 inches line and I'm going to make another vertical line. 
now you can see i have my vertical measurements all all here the cap height you can see how we got the cap height the bicep the elbow measurements and the full length of this sleeve so right now the next thing i want to do is to determine the circumference that will form this off shoulder sleeve so the first measurement i'm going to take is on the sleeve head and this measurement i'm taking on the sleeve head right away i'm going to get what i'm going to impute on the sleeve sleeve head by taking my tape around my shoulder where i want the off shoulder to be so i'll just take my tape and wrap it around my shoulder and whatever result i have in my own case i have 44 inches then you keep it aside the next thing you are going to do is to take your shoulder measurement you know how to take your shoulder measurement in my own case i have 15 inches as my shoulder measurement 15 inches is my shoulder measurement so i'm going to pick up this 15 inches i'm going to take away 15 i'm taking away two inches from it okay then these two inches i take away i'll be having 13 inches so the 13 inches right now i'm going to times this 13 inches by two that is 13 plus 13. this the first 13 is for the front front bodies and the second 13 is for the back bodies so 13 plus 13 will give me 26 inches i believe you're understanding this explanation the two inches the shoulder measurement is 15 inches just take away two inches from it okay that is standard just take it away from whatever your measurements for the shoulder is just take away two inches whatever results you have times it by two 13 is for the front bodies and 13 is for the back bodies and you have 26 remember taking your tape around your shoulder is 44 inches remember that and now we have 26 inches so we are working with 44 and 26 so i'm going to place this 44 and i'm going to take away the 26 inches from it this is a lot of mathematics but if you follow it exactly this way you are going to get it so 44 take away 16 uh, 44 take away 26 right here i'm going to have i'm going to have 18 inches in here so now we are working with 18 inches 18 inches is going to be our sleeve for the right and our sleeve for the left so the sleeve for the right will take one part of this 18 and the left so i'm sharing 18 by 2 again so 18 divided by 2 i have 9 inches so what does that mean it means my right sleeve will be having nine inches and my left sleeve will have nine inches can you see so now this is one of my sleeves and that is the nine inches we are talking about here you can see that i kept the sleeve on full so it means i'm going to share the nine inches also for the front and the back part of this sleeve so nine divided by two because my paper is on fold it will give me 4.5 so i'll be placing the measurement of 4.5 in here and for the cap height i'll be using this um the calculation for the cap height to demonstrate to you how you can get the cap height so for the cap height measurement i'm going to also use my bust circumference i have a bust circumference of 40 inches and i'm going to divide it by six then i'll add plus 1.5 you know how we got it and at the end of the day i have eight inches so i'm going to make use of eight inches so for you to get what you are going to impute on this cap height line this is the calculation whatever your bus circumference is divided by six add 1.5 to it whatever result you have i have eight inches in here so i'm going to place my tape on this cap height line and i'm going to make a mark of eight inches so i will immediately connect these lines the 4.5 line to the eight inches line okay you can see how i kept my rule not too curvy then i'm going to make my off shoulder curve can you see what i have there so this off shoulder curve i have in here 
I'm going to take my bicep measurement, okay? My bicep measurement here is 15 inches divided by 2. I'll make a mark of 7.5. My elbow measurement is 13 and half inches divided by 2. I'll be making a mark of division here. Then, whatever I have on the full length measurement, okay? Where you want the 19 inches, you simply take the tape around your, where you want the sleeve to stop. Okay, so whatever measurement you have in there, then you will place it at the full length. But another way you can do that is this. You are going to connect the bicep to the elbow. But before we do that, let me connect the cap high to the, to the bicep. Okay, look, I can also connect. If I can get a whole straight line running down to the, okay, but my ruler is not enough to do that. So I'll just connect to the, bicep can you see the bicep and the cap height then i'll move my ruler a little bit to the elbow connection then this is what i want to achieve right now then let me use my straight rule to do that so i'll be placing my uh, my ruler on the point on that point and i'll take it down to the full length this will also give you exactly what you are supposed to have on that sleeve okay all right so now the next thing we want to do is to add a little fullness to this because as you see this sleeve right now this off shoulder sleeve i made here for that layer sleeve which is going to be the base for that layer sleeve is really going to be tight so i just want to add a little of an ease all over to this sleeve okay so i'll just add little of an ease Starting from the cap height, I'll be adding 0.5 inch of an ease. I'll add the 0.75, that is 3 quarter. I'll then add another 3 quarter. Okay. Then I'll be adding 1 inch at the, or 3 quarter. Okay, let me just make it even. So I'll just keep my rule, or let me use my my curve rule as well then i'm going to connect all the lines can you see so i'm connecting all the lines remember this is just an ease added to this to be able to carry the layer sleeve comfortably okay so I will now connect this line back to my off shoulder. So right now, I'm cutting off my off shoulder sleeve right now. You can see where I'm cutting it from. I'll just simply cut it. And now, it's going to serve as the base for the layer. Remember, the picture you are seeing on the screen in there is a layered off shoulder sleeve. You can see the layers with two in there so right now this is my off shoulder you can see my sleeve so i'm going to spread off the off shoulder sleeve this is the off all right now you can see my off shoulder sleeve we just drafted and i have spread it apart and i have placed my fabric below and i added all necessary seam allowances you can see i added 0.5 inch seam allowance by the side and I took it all around the sleeve head to the arm hole. I added 0.5. But coming to the hem, I added 1 inch. The reason for this is this. If you want to add a lining to it or maybe you want to just overlock it, okay? Whichever thing you want to do, the 1 inch is okay for that. Then 0.5 is the same allowance either for piping, if you want to pipe it, or you want to also attach your lining so the purpose of this tutorial is to determine how those layers is going to form so the first thing i'm going to do is to take the measurement from my sleeve head i'm taking the measurement to the full length so you can see in here i have 19 and a half inches so looking at the layers you can see I, there are seven layers in there if you count it very well i have seven layers but this layer depends on your choice you can make it eight layers you can make it nine layers you can even make it six layers but whatever layers you want to make this layer sleep all you need to do is to take the full measurement of the 
sleeve wherever you want this, the sleeve to stop take its full measurement so for the purpose of this tutorial i'm making use of 19 and a half inches so this 19 and a half inches i'm going to divide it by seven layers okay so 19.5 inches i'm going to divide by seven layers so when i do that i have about 2.8 inches so i'm going to approximate 2.8 to 3 inches so I'm making use of three three inches gapping, three three inches gapping. So I will just quickly go to my fabric right now because I'm going to create these layers at three three inches on the fabric. So I'll simply take away my pattern right now. Now I've gotten exactly how, how many layers I want. So these three layers, this three three inches line I'm going to make. Remember, I have 0 0.5 inch. I'm not going to include it. So I'm going to mark out 0 0.5 and I'm going to mark out 1 inch. Then I start dividing by 3, 3 inches. Alright people, so you can see what I did right now. Remember, I took the length of the sleeve. Like I told you, this is the 0 0.5 inch for seam. From the pattern, I marked out the 0 0.5 inch which I added. So it's going to be like this, okay, after fixing our layers, okay, our rough layers. Then this is the 1 inch, I also marked it out, which I'll use to fold either my lining or my overlock or whatever I want to do to the hem. So this is what actually what I'm trying to hide them so you see actually what we have in here. So remember the length we took the from the sleeve head to the hem is 19.5. Can you see the 19.5? So I took the measurement. The I needed the seven layers of ruffle, seven layers of ruffle. So I divided the length, which is 19. Point five. I divided it by 7 because I need 7 layers. If you need 6 layers, please divide by 6. If you need 4, divide by 4. If you need 8, divide by 8. Whatever result you get are the markings you have here. So since I have 19.5, I divided it by 7 layers I want and I have 3, 3 inches. So right from the sleeve head right away, you can see the marking of my sleeve head. I placed my tape at 3, 3 inches. 3 3 inches 3 3 inches okay so this part is going to serve so let me count the three this is the first one two three four five six seven can you see this is going to be for the hem so i'll be fixing the last layer on this part and it's going to fall out okay to this part so right now since i have three three inches layers my the net I'm going to, the tool I'm going to cut right now is going to be 4 inches, okay? So I'm going to place a 4 inches tool. What I mean is this, bringing my tool, I'll be sewing my tool on this at 4 inches. So my tool is going to end at 4 inches. Why the next tool, after fixing the first one, I'll flip it up, fix the second one. So the second one will be here on top the first one will be on top of it to hide where you stitched it okay so what i'm trying to explain is right now the tool i'm going to make the ruffle on you can see the two right here and this tool you are seeing right here has a width a width of 4.5 can you see 4.5 inches because i'll be using 0.5 to stitch to make my gathers i'm going to use 0.5 to make my gathers so how many layers of two do I have here? I have three, two, three layers of two. You can see how long the two is. That is net, okay? The net or mesh is one, two, three layers of it. So how do I determine the length of these two? The length of these two, I times it by four. How did I do that? I took the measurement of this first one. So this first one, where I'm going to fix my first tool, I'm going to take the measurement of what I have in there, okay? I have 11 inches in here. So 11 times 4, because I really need the ruffles to, the gathers to come together 
just as you see in that picture and you know this is a tool or a net okay and the net is usually very light so you need to add volume to it okay so you can see that my tool i have three layers oh the what i'm trying to do is to make sure i have a full volume so that's why i have three layers one two and three you can see three layers and these three layers has a width of 4.5 i've explained it before and the length is whatever thing you get here i have 11 inches when i measure the first one i'm going to place times by four so 11 times 4 44 inches so this two you are seeing is a measurement of 44 inches by length can you see 44 inches by length so right now i'm going to my machine right away and i'm going to make my gather stitch on the three layers so i'm going to gather at 0 0.5 0 0.5 0 0.5 0 0.5, 0 0.5 then i'll come and fix it at the first layer so for the second layer too, I'm going to take a measurement of the second layer line from where I want to fix it. Can you see where I start, where I have my line? And in here I have 16.5. So this 16.5, I'm going to times it again by 4. Whatever result I have will be the length I will place for the second one. For the third one, I'll also take my measurement. I have 18 inches. I'll times it by 4. Whatever result will be the length of the tool i'm going to make use of remember that the tools are in three layers so it means 18 for this one 18 times 4 whatever length you have you are going to cut out three layers of that length okay so you can see this is really a big work all right so now you can see i'm done making my ruffles you can see i'm done making my ruffles, ruffles right away and I'm going to place my ruffle right now which I made I'm going to place the gathers in the first layer okay so I'll make sure I gather very very well okay to accommodate that this particular line so on the first line you can see my gather stitches you can see I gathered at 0 0.5 so I'll be placing it on my machine right now. I'm going right to my machine and I'm going to place the first ruffle, okay? So I'll place it closely, closely, closely. I'll keep stitching, I'll keep stitching them. I'll keep stitching them at close range, making sure I distribute it evenly on this first layer. So you can see, a sample of what we have right now for the first layer can you see that is as simple as this so i will run my stitches right now then i'm going to make my ruffles for the second and the third layer so i'll be using the first second third layer to demonstrate to you how this ruffle is going to be so at the end of this tutorial we will just you take the measurement of all of these lines the remaining lines and cut three layers of what you have times whatever length you have by four cut three layers and make your gathers and fill up the remaining sleeves so keep watching all right people so you can see i'm done stitching the first ruffles can you see so all i'm going to do right now is to lift up the first one and i've took, taken the measurement i have for this and I times it by four and cut three layers of it and made my gather just as I did for the front so I'm going to my machine again I'm going to sew the second ruffle on this line can you see so I'm going to sew the second ruffle on this line right away so after sewing the second ruffle I will have the first one lay on it this way can you see so you can see is already forming what we have in that sleeve. So let me quickly do that for this. And after doing that, I'm going to lift this second one up and I'm going to do for the third one, okay? So at the end of the tutorial, you can finish up the remaining of it. At least you have an idea of what to do for the layer sleeve. So let me do that and bring it for you to see. All right, lovely people. So you can see what I have so far for my three layers. 
you see how beautiful it's looking already so at least you have an idea of how to finish up the remaining lines i just did three layers so you need to do exactly as you learned from this video the remaining seven layers the remaining four layers so when you finish this the next thing you are going to do when you finish all your ruffles is to place whatever thing you want to use if you need a lining you cut out exactly this piece place it on top of the ruffle and stitch exactly this way so what are we trying to do we need this part to go in as in once you stitch it the lining will go in and it will be like this okay the way your normal off shoulder sleeve is being stitched so you have something like this at the end of the day okay which you are going to attach to your sleeve so after doing that you have to close up your sleeve you know how you normally close up your sleeve we are going to merge this to this can you see then you run your stitch okay while you pushing this make sure you arrange them and stitch at 0 0.5 all through so after doing that then you now turn your sleeve okay once you turn it at the end of the day you have something like this can you see so and whatever thing you have you go to your machine and fix to the bodies okay this is the part of the off shoulder sleeve which you need to fix to your bodies i believe you understand what i did in this tutorial and i believe you also enjoy this content okay so if you enjoy this content please kindly subscribe turn on your notification bell to receive videos like this each week like share to family and friends drop your comments on the comment section and suggestions as well okay thank you very much for following up with sim right see you in my next video bye